what's good y'all all right so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a simple background for your gfx like really something simple so uh yeah let's get it all right so when really thinking about a background like a really simple one when you're first getting started off making gfx's you could think of something like this or like this or even like this like these are super simple to make and honestly to get these images and backgrounds it's actually very simple all you're gonna do is open google type in what you need and download it and put it behind your gfx literally let me just take you through a quick example let's say i wanted to add some clouds and a clear blue sky i will go into google and type in clouds png which means transparent and then for the sky i would type in clear blue sky or sky background then we just need to take it into a photo editor and we could go from there so there are pretty good photo editors that are free online like photopea pixart there's other ones but you know I, I don't really use those but definitely pixart and photopea are probably the best ones photopea is more like photoshop so it's a little bit more advanced but pixart is very easy to use so yeah let me just show you how to use pixart real quick all right so once you get on pixart you pretty much just want to sign in up top right here and then you could just go down to either one of these or you can just click my files create new project and i'll bring you into a new tab you can just accept all of this nonsense and now you have a blank canvas all right so now just go into your files drag in your render from your gfx and you can just pop it in right here just like this this is the one i made in my gfx tutorial for 2025 this is like already 50 percent finished this is like the main, main, main part. So it'll just kind of scale it up and something like that. Let's center it a little bit. And that's perfect for now. To add a background, let's see right here on the left side. And let's change this color to like, nah, you guys know I like my purple. Something like this is phenomenal, actually. Scale it up a little bit. And now for me, this is solid already. And you could even go to the text and I don't know, let's add something like this actually. Trust CC. While this is not the best product, it's not horrible. Like this is a very simple background for your GFX. But if you do wanna use the images that you got from Google, just go to your downloads, drop them in, and you can use them. Let's say you do drop in an image and it's over your GFX and you want it behind it. Literally just go to right here on the right side. Just drag it like this. So right now I just put this under here and just like that is behind my image. Let's bring this up here for a sec. Oh, right here on the top. Let's make this white. Actually, let's make it like a different shade of purple. So like a little bit darker. So right now it's over my character. We could just drag it down one layer. And just like that, it's behind my character. But real quick, let me show you how to add different assets you find on Google and Discord to your GFX. Of course, you can get images from Google, but if you use my Discord server instead, you'll find a large variety of a bunch of different assets sorted by their colors. So let's say I just wanted to use one in the white category. Um, let's go with this right here. I'd right click, go down to save image and save it to my download section on my computer. And now back in PixArt to get that image into this GFX, we're gonna go up to uploads, go down to this upload button right here and once you click it, it will open your files so you can select the file of whatever assets you downloaded. So I have my file in. You can't really see it right here because it's white, but it is on the GFX. And from here, I can kind of just pose it wherever I want. Maybe like right here, make it a little smaller. Um, this is not a, the best example, but you know, it's, it's, it's something, it's something. And just like everything else, you can put it behind different layers. But let's just leave it there for now. And yeah, that's how you add assets into your GFX. Very simple.
But yeah, this is a pretty solid GFX background for about four minutes of work. If you do want to learn how to make more advanced backgrounds and like a scene for your GFX, definitely tell me in the comments and I will make a video on it. But for now, if you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments and I will answer them and try to help you out as much as I can. But yeah, like and subscribe.